All right. How are you, Earth sign? What is going on with you guys? Hope you're doing well. A uh, couple of announcements. The mid-month individual Zodiac readings. I am doing a live for the members. Uh, if you hit that join button on the channel, you'll be invited. Um, I'm going to do that on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Of course, you'll get the recording. Of course, of course. Um, so that's a big deal. Lots of questions about the wisdom of the tarot class. Yes, it is still being offered. And I'm going to do some special things also uh, around that this fall. Later this fall, I've talked about tarot certification. You're going to hear more about that coming soon. All right. Earth sign, what's going on with you? If you want to learn tarot from me, wisdom of the tarot. All right. Earth sign. Let's see what's coming up. Navigating by the stars. Beautiful. Passion and pleasure. I love it. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies a great bounty. And I just feel like you've stepped out of a very stable, but un, I get uncompromising and also not that creative or a very kind of like flat existence and really stepping into something. Some of you, this could be like a, a short term thing, right? Like you're going on vacation or you're, you're with somebody or you're, you know, spending the weekend with friends or something like that. It's a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a special thing. It could be, uh, could be unexpected. All right. That you're, you're being given an opportunity that embraces passion and pleasure. And there's something underneath the surface that is beyond what you could ever expect. Uh, and I feel like you're going to find it. All right. Earth sign. I feel like you're going to find it. Wow. Ten of wands, ten of cups, the chariot in reverse. Okay. So this is a little stuck energy here. Um, the tens, especially, and wow, the chariot in reverse, big time stuck energy. And I just feel like there's a belief here. If you're in a relationship that's boring you to tears or you're, you have just come to the end of your tether with a person, you're still holding on to something. You're still holding on to that relationship. Some of you are still holding on to a situation that isn't creatively growing, isn't bringing you joy. Uh, you're the one that's doing all the work and there's very little return for that work. Um, I'm going to say that that's the reason for the stoppage. There's, there's too much on the plate. It, the plate needs to be cleared. Okay. King of pentacles, six of wands, hanged man, hermit, right? Very spiritual energy here. Four of cups, queen of cups, the knight of pentacles. I'll talk you through all this. Four of swords and the nine of cups in reverse. Now we've got a couple cards in reverse here and we've got the hanged man, which is right side up. This is the only card in the deck that when it's right side up, it's reversed. Okay. So this is about surrender. So some of you, um, earth signs could have really been, have built something. You've really built something. You have a situation that works for you. Um, there's a little bit of, a, um, I don't know. It's not lack lackadaisical. It's, it's a little bit of like resting on your laurels a little bit here. And I don't know. It's just boring. Like you're feeling, you could be feeling really bored with something. Take a new look at things. There is some new opportunity coming in for a lot of fun, a lot of joy, um, and a lot of, a lot of financial, um, well-being. Okay. But this seems like stagnant. It's like you filled your, you filled your calendar with everything you have to do. There's no time to do anything else. And, finally getting out of it, finally getting out of this, this 10 of wands, 10 of cups, where they're like, yes, I want to create happiness, but my day is all full. I'm full up. I don't have any bandwidth for this. So this is about getting you out of your comfort zone, earth sign. And I see Virgo here. I see a lot of Virgo here, actually. In the extended, I will pull cards for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo individually, just to give you some individual guidance here. Um, earth sign, I feel like you could be taking your stability for granted a little bit. 
Some of you don't like being pushed out of your comfort zone, but it's a very powerful heart-based possibility that wants to come in. All right. It could be a love partner. It could be somebody who um, is just going to brighten up your day, liven up your life and get rid of this like grind that you've been in. Um, that's got to go. All right. So I feel like we are healing. We are healing this overdoing this kind of um, Knight of Pentacles energy of wax on, wax off, right? It's very methodical, not, not very inspired. Knight of Pentacles is not inspirational. And the Hermit is very internal. So I do feel like with the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, there's a, there's a desire for some kind of stability. But I think that's what's keeping you from love. It's keeping you from getting what you want. A need for like... Risk is called risk for a reason. All right. It's called risk for a reason. And what this is saying to me is if you're not going to take any risks, then it's going to stagnate. It's time. Even a little bit of risk could be helpful, but it's going to take you. Um, some of you might be dealing with a person who's very structured in their days there's not a lot of room. They've, they're full up by the time you, you know, it's like their calendar is full every week. There's nothing available. And it's like, I can't, I mean, so you're kind of getting them out of that place. If you are the one who's needing to get out of your comfort zone, I'm here to tell you that's, that's what's happening. There's so much um, stuckness here. And this is a little bit about surrendering to fun and joy and not having it have to have, not having it have to have a productive purpose. Like this is about fun and joy. This is about, you know, full moon dancing around the fireplace. It's, it's about having friends over doing cool stuff and things that you might not normally do, but you will find a treasure by doing that. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, there's a little bit of all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. Okay. There's a little bit of that. Now, this is a healing thing to do this. I mean, some of you may, may be very skittish about if it's outside of your comfort zone or your daily round or like your routine, that can really throw you for a loop. So the healing part here. Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands. Okay. There's definitely an opportunity for a really good life partner here, a really strong, stable, long-term life partner. Um, it's time to review the past, whatever's got me stuck. It's time to look at what has me stuck and put some time and effort into moving on from that. So even if it has nothing to do with another person or your career or anything like that, there's a mindset here that says everything's got to go on my calendar. Everything's got to be in my timeline. Everything's got to be, uh, I'm the one that's in charge of how fast this goes, how slow it goes. And it's like limiting the fun. It's limiting the fun. So ultimately you, you, may resist or block uh, what you truly want by trying to make it into a thing that you think you want. You understand what I mean? Instead of allowing things to be a little more free and easy, there's too much regimentation here. There's too much, um, and there's not enough of understanding that lessons from the past are just that, lessons. They're not a death sentence. They're not like, this is who you are. This is something that went on and you're in, you know, a relationship, another relationship, and you can be a different person in a new relationship. You don't have to be that same pattern that got you derailed in the first place. And in fact, I feel like this person's showing up to mirror that to you, that you don't have to let past failures in relationships or in your life um, drive the story of who you're becoming. In other words, clean slate. White sheet of paper, who am I becoming? Where am I going? What do I want to create? 
and that can turn this up that can turn this back around all right but it's like this because there's not enough understanding that getting out outside of your comfort zone is going to be the thing that sets you free all right so capricorn taurus and virgo i'll pull some individual cards for you in the extended i'm also going to look at cancer and Libra. Okay. So individual cards, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo link is below. If you want to continue on with me, if this is your story. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.